Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It's Wednesday, October 30th, 2024. Halloween-een. So, um, and uh, welcome to um, the first little blad of winter. Um, if you're not getting some snow flurries, um, I've certainly seen some. So anyway, it is the end of October and finally we're getting some of that moisture that we need so much. Um, several things. Um, first of all, this coming Sunday is Fallback Sunday, a uh, time change. Um, our schedule at church will not change. It'll still be 745 Eucharist in the chapel, Zoomed, and then 1030 um, in the sanctuary, live streamed. Uh, and that bulletin will be available online in advance, of course. But the time changes, so um, take advantage of that extra hour um, of sleep if you can. Um, it's All Saints Sunday, so we've got the, the great All Saints hymns that we'll sing and we'll renew our baptismal vows um, as well. Uh, and so that, that's going to be, um, I, I love All Saints Sunday. It, it's one of my favorites. Um, the uh, Faith Forum um, starting this week will be a three-week series that I'm calling um, Stewards of Creation, Being Stewards of Creation, and I will be um, sharing reflections and learnings um, that I gleaned on my summer sabbatical. So that will be a three-week um, series. It'll be in the chapel at 9.15 and it will be Zoomed, so you can either catch it. Um, if you can't make it to church on Sunday morning, you can catch it later um, or at that time, uh, it'll be recorded and you can see it as well. Uh, so that's what's going to be going on um, over the next uh, several weeks. And then the last Sunday of uh, November is the Holiday Bazaar, and um, we've been talking about that a lot. So there will be no faith forum on, on that Sunday morning. So three faith forums in, um, in November focusing on um, becoming stewards of creation. Last week's faith forum, uh, uh, that was a pre presentation on the budget, um, was um, great questions, uh, good information. That was recorded and that was sent out um, along with the handout, that uh, announcement of that was sent out uh, yesterday or day before. So please take a look at that um, if you have any questions on, on the budget and on uh, your pledging and all of that kind of stuff. If you um, have not pledged yet, a number of folks have, but if you have not, please get those in as quickly as you can. Uh, prayerfully consider how you want to help Good Shepherd um, step up and meet its, um, its ministry needs um, in 2025. So look forward to seeing those come through. A um, few other things. Uh, this week and next week, um, following the 1030 service, the Black Sheep are going to rehearse um, for an upcoming um, anthem in, in, uh, in November. So following the 1030 service uh, for about a half an hour, if uh, you're a guy and you want to sing um, with the black sheep, just go back into the, after you grab a cup of coffee or something, just go back into the sanctuary. Connie promises that uh, the rehearsals will only take about 20 to 30 minutes. So, um, and, and, and it's fun. I'll, I'll be there um, rehearsing too. Um, speaking of fun or good news, as uh, some of you know that uh, Matt and Molly Bates, uh, parishioners who attend the 1030 service most often, uh, just became parents again um, with a little girl who was born a week uh, last Friday. Um, and so we'll look forward to seeing the new addition of the Bates family when um, they can make it in. But we rejoice uh, with them and uh, the family. Um, one other thing that's coming up uh, later um, this week, um, it's not happening here at church, but it is happening with Church Big C Church, and that is that we will uh, be gaining our new, or installing, investing our new presiding bishop um, on Saturday, and that will be happening um, over on the East Coast. Um, the Right Reverend Sean Rowe will become um, the Most Reverend Ron, uh, 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 Sean Rowe on Saturday. Uh, presiding bishop in the Episcopal Church is somewhat like an archbishop, except that he doesn't really have that sort of similar control that, say, the Archbishop of Canterbury has. 
Um, he's the presiding bishop, which means he has the gavel when the bishops get together. Um, and certainly uh, his predecessors have taken that in uh, lots of different directions. Uh, his immediate predecessor, Michael Curry, certainly had a sort of a larger um, footprint than, than you might think of um, from some of the others, um, given his ability to preach at a royal wedding. So, but we will have the, the investiture of uh, presiding bishop elect, um, who will be presiding Bishop Sean Rowe, that is all going to be available for our, um, your individual watching, um, it's going to be live streamed. Information about that will go out in the e-news, and I will put the link in the notes um, below this video so you can see those there um, and, um, and watch it if you want. It's at 11 o'clock Eastern time, so it'll start at 9 o'clock here in Denver. Um, but it's all available live stream, and if you want to watch it in, an, in a language that isn't English, it will be available in Spanish and French and Mandarin. So uh, you'll be able to, you, you can choose whichever one you want to watch, but it should be a, um, a, a, a wonderful experience that the whole church gets to participate in by watching rather than just those who are there in the space. So. Um, I commend that to you. And again, the information will be in the down below and it will go out in the e-news as well. And so to close um, today, um, I thought that I would offer a prayer uh, for the ordination of a bishop. Um, and this comes from the 1789 Book of Common Prayer, um, our first American prayer book um, after the Revolutionary War when we were we had to revise it because we were no longer going to be praying for the king um, or the queen at that point. And we started praying for the president, but we still had to have um, ceremonies uh, for and rituals for ordinations. And so this is the ordination uh, prayer for a bishop um, that's from the 1789 prayer book. Almighty God, who by your son, Jesus Christ, did give to your holy apostles many excellent gifts and did charge them to feed your flock. Give grace, we pray, to all bishops, the pastors of your church, and especially to the Right Reverend Sean Rowe, that they may diligently preach your word and duly administer the godly discipline contained therein, and grant to the people that they may obediently follow the same, that all may receive the crown of everlasting glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.